I work in risk engineering and, and risk engineering or, or risk today is managed in a large part by our predictive modeling. So like every other bank, we will create models to predict how likely a borrower is to default on a borrowing. Uh, we'd predict, for example, if the borrower does default, how much are we likely to lose off that borrowing? So there's a lot of predictive analytics or predictive models that goes into risk management in banks. Right? So while all of the models are built on fancy techniques, machine learning, all those sexy new terms that we hear, all these are really only as good as the data they are built upon. So in, in this case, we worked with analytic to work with the data on which these models are built on and be able to optimize the time and the efficiency by which we can prepare the data uh, and reduce the time to model, right? So typically about 80% of this modeling activity is data preparation. It's only 20% which is the actual predictive modeling activity. So we are working with Yashasvi from Analytic in terms of reducing our time to model and over to you. Thank you, thank you, Pavan. Uh, good evening, everybody. My name is Yashasvi. I'm the co-founder of Analytic. Uh, it is my pleasure to talk to all of you about the end-to-end -end business analytics platform uh, that we have built in the past uh, two years. Um, um, in our past life, myself and my co-founder were uh, strategy consultants in the US. We work with a lot of uh, Fortune 500 clients, advising them on improving their top line and bottom line uh, uh, issues. and. Uh, we found a lot of inefficiencies in the process. And uh, that is where the genesis of this idea is, in terms of making enterprise decision making faster, easier, and more efficient. Uh, and, and when I say end-to-end -end, uh, uh, business analytics platform, we are really targeted only at two functions. Uh, one is on the sourcing and procurement side, uh, on the operations. And on the front office side, we focus on customer analytics and uh, marketing functions. Uh, in these spaces, if you think about any analytics ex exercise uh, that you perform before making any decision, there are three distinct phases to it. One is you know, the, the one that Pavan just spoke about, which is the data preparation phase, where you're bringing your data together, cleansing it, and so on. Not the most glamorous uh, parts of the exercise, but a lion's share of the overall uh, time actually uh, goes in that. The second part is once you have a, your data in shape, you need to uh, visualize it and uh, derive some insights out of it. And then finally apply some advanced analytics to uh, make some uh, decisions finally. So today, that process is actually happening through a whole suite of uh, multiple products topped with services on top of those. So uh, for example, to prepare data, a lot of firms use you know, even SQL or Teradata and other uh, database uh, tools. For visualization, you have Tableau, ClickView, and others. And then finally, on advanced analytics, depending on the function that you're focused on, you have multiple tools there. Now, our, on top of this, uh, most of these tools, they don't really give you ready-to-consume insights. You still need additional services firms to condense or use these tools to create insights that are consumable to the business. What we want to do is we, want, we don't want to be a Teradata or a Tableau or a Spend Radar. We want to be all the three to sourcing and procurement, or we want to be all the three to customer and marketing analytics. We have this business analytics platform where we have injected that platform with function-specific intelligence through our decades worth of advisory experience, where we are trying to productize this largely services uh, depend, uh, dependent space. So you know, in short, what, what are we talking about? In, in preparing your data, we don't want your data scientists or modelers to spend days and weeks in coming up with you know, a lot of queries and joins and so on to create basic tables. We want them to have a very simple drag and drop interface where at the click of a button, within a few minutes to hours, they are actually able to create their own uh, uh, clean data. And for that, we've actually, the, the tool actually has very function specific transformations like 
one example is in the banking industry, if you want to predict churn, someone knows that you know last six months uh, balance or last six months transaction is very uh, useful. So here we already have a pre-built data transformations for extracting the last six months of any numerical field. Similarly, we have very function specific, like uh, for sourcing, if you talk about it, we have like purchase price variance automatically calculated within the tool. So this is what we call as function specific inputs going into our data prep uh, module. Similarly, when you want to visualize something, we don't want your executive leadership to depend on IT or BI resources to pull reports for them and then send them after some lead time. We want them to have direct access to all these reports in a, in a language that they are very comfortable in and immediately able to extract insights out of this. We have hundreds of uh, reports or pre-built charts and metrics specific to sourcing and procurement and customer and marketing analytics which provide all these at the click of a button. A lot of the teams have spoken about uh, NLP that is being used. That is in action even in this module uh, with us except that we have enriched our lexicon with uh, a lot of business specific and function specific inputs already. And then finally, in, in advanced analytics, again, we don't want your data scientists to you know, build pretty complex models using advanced machine learning techniques. Or uh, a, a lot of time is also spent in sort of looking at uh, you know, the final output and trying to decide, looking at various metrics and understand what is the business implication. We want the business leadership to, to condense all, all the meanings of all those outputs into business-driven outcomes. Right? So, for example, when, when you're setting up a high-cost campaign, what do you really want to do? You want to limit the false positives in that campaign. So all this can happen at the click of a button with the same advanced machine learning techniques that are running on in the background, but a lot more business-friendly and readily consumable for uh, functional leadership to make decisions quicker and easier. So this, this in a nutshell, is our product. This is analytics for sourcing and procurement or customer and marketing analytics in a box. Through, through the course of this, since we started here at this accelerator, we've signed on uh, one of the, uh, the largest uh, uh, communications provider in the US on a recurring subscription. We are working with a, a $10 billion insurance company in the US again uh, for a, a recurring subscription. We are, th these are still early stages, but uh, this product is proven. While this was being built, we've used this product in-house while delivering services projects to, this client, uh, to various clients in the US in the last uh, year and a half. Uh, these are some of the benefits that we've already uh, realized at clients while uh, using our own in-house products. Uh, as I mentioned, we already have a couple of uh, recurring annual subscriptions for the product in the, in the last three months. Uh, the time to benefits, we, th this is the key. You know, the moment we are changing that services model to a product model in the advisory space, we are able to reduce the time to benefits by more than 75%. As an example, if you're, if you're talking about a spend diagnostic, or if you're talking about a churn model, you, spend, you would expect to spend at least anywhere between 10 to 12 weeks. With our platform, you would be able to do that in literally two weeks. And these are, uh, you know, real live examples that have happened uh, with clients that we are talking about, and finally, we want to give you, uh, we want to give our clients. We are, we are here. I have told this to many clients myself. We are not here to sell software. We are here to deliver results. So, you know, for organizations who are interested in reducing your costs, or if you want to improve your profitability while serving your customers, I'd love to have a conversation to see how uh, how our product can help out. Similarly, similarly to investors who are interested in coming on board in our journey to disrupt the advisory space, we, uh, I'd love to have a chat offline. Thanks.